It is the biggest recorded flood in the history of Brazil's southern state of Rio Grande do Sul, killing dozens and forcing thousands to evacuate their homes. A hydroelectric dam partially collapsed. A bridge swept away, leaving several towns stranded. With boats as the only mode of transportation, residents are desperate to reach dry ground, saying they've never seen anything like what is happening here. Humans must be doing something to the planet for it to be punishing us like this. I think pollution is happening because this is not normal. It's not natural. President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva visited the disaster area this week and promised full support in response to the state governor's request for emergency aid. We want to offer solidarity to the families and to the people of Rio Grande do Sul and to reaffirm the federal government and its 37 ministers will be available to help the state. According to civil defense officials, 281 municipalities have been affected, with over 30,000 people forced to evacuate their homes. Experts say these extreme weather events have been fueled by El Nino conditions that bring warmer sea and air temperatures. This week, Rio de Janeiro registered its hottest day in May in more than 20 years, while Sao Paulo matched its hottest day ever recorded in May. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.